I think I've done it, but I haven't a clue where it is. Who's, um, let's have a look. Where the heck am I at? Oh, there we go. Right, we online. Where the heck am I at? Right, there we go. We're all sorted. Just give me a minute to uh, to finish setting up. I'm just about all ready. Welcome to the Laughing Professor. Uh, our first live feed in, in quite a while. So uh, I've got everything linked up, so I've got separate screens, so I can see the messages as well as we go along. Um, We'll offer whatever tips, whatever's asked for, uh, but primarily we're going to be looking at um, how to create a mock-up of any item that the customer wants. Now these items don't necessarily have to be sublimation or in stock. We can we can do a mock-up of absolutely anything. As long as we have some some idea of how to finish the results, how to finish, uh, how to complete the job, whether it's HTV, laser, whatever. Um, but we're we're going to concentrate on sublimation items. Now, by doing mock-ups, means we don't have to buy the stocking, so we are saving a lot of money. We can create a mock-up of any item that that we want to sell. Um, post the details on Facebook and see if it's worth getting the items in. If not, not a problem. We haven't lost anything. So then we create another mock-up of a different item, perhaps the same mock-up with a different design. And we just keep going through, see what sells, um, what we need to get stock in. Now, here in the US, uh, you can get any item you want in stock, generally in less than four days. So by the time you've actually sublimated it and sold it to the customer, you're looking at seven to ten days, which in my mind is acceptable. So if it's an unusual item, you don't need to stock it. To having the customer's hand within a week, that that's that's fine and acceptable by me. Um, obviously, if you carry an item in stock, you can have it in the customer's hand next day. If you're doing live venues, such as the craft fairs, uh, trade shows, then you can have it in customer's hands in 15 to 30 minutes. If you're set up correctly and you've got the manpower um, to, to do it that way. Right, so let's uh, let's see how we begin.
So I'm just looking on a different screen so I can see what's going on. Right, welcome. Let's get started then. Right, um, I've already done some pre-planning and the first item as an example we're gonna look at uh, this baby, no not that baby, this baby which is just a random image I took off Google now you notice as I select it it's a JPEG okay it's not a vector that's a JPEG a, uh, a, any old image taken from Google now I must say before we go any further be careful what images what images are used from Google i.e. what I'm referring to is copyright and licenses licensing before you start going using that image uh, to promote your business your products okay so for this example we've got a baby uh, a JPEG off Google okay now to start with what we want to do is get rid of the white square okay you see it's got a white box around it now to make our mock-up look as authentic and professional as possible we want to get rid of that white box now this proves a bit of a challenge with this particular image the reason being is we've got a white box but we've also got a white onesie uh, and areas of this background you can see on the shoulder there we're going to lose some of the onesie okay now what I tend to do rather than use a color mask to get rid of to select the background and then delete it is I tend to go to trace now I'm not going to go all through this because I've already got the images sorted out now with trace we're not too bothered about detail all we want is the outline of this little baby okay and it's basically we're going to do exactly the same as what a color mask would do the same process All right, so let's just get a bit more detail in that um, so all we're looking at is the outline so we can get rid of the white box okay and then we click OK let's move that to the side delete that okay and there you have it uh, one baby without the white box now obviously that's not sufficient so what we did or what I did is weld all the outline areas so we want to keep that we weld it all together to the onesie the onesie is what we're going to keep okay and the rest of it we're not bothered about so we can delete that weld it together and ultimately what will happen is we'll end up with the outline uh, in fact I missed a step what will happen is we'll end up with an outline of the onesie but I missed a step um, so right, I got ahead of myself Right. Let's do that again. 
my apologies I got ahead of myself I skipped a step so let's trace that again sorry about that I want to make sure you got all the information and all the steps you need and uh, to be able to do it right see the idea of a mock-up is to present a idea to the customer that looks genuine if you like it looks authentic um, what I mean by that is that looks something that's that's already been made it's already in production well it's a natural fact it, it, it's not obviously and uh, we can save some money but it's basically like market research see if an idea works before you go to the next stage right let's show you again properly sorry about that right so we don't want the white but we do want all the rest you see I skipped a step we'll come to that in a minute right so we do want all this baby um, seems like a bit of work but it's actually a quick process I'm just going to do this bottom half and then I'm going to skip forward to uh, to the next bit. Oops, what's happened? Right, so you, there you go. Okay, let's remove the colour. And that's what we've got, is the outline of the baby, as you can see there. Now, I've not got all, I've not finished the whole job. But what you'll then do is, with that outline, layer it on top of your original photograph. select the background and we'll go to effects and power clip and then place inside frame and then we we'll click on that and you see there we go we've got rid of all the background uh, the white box now we've still got his legs and had we finished we'll have the whole baby okay and what you end up with is that you see I've still I've got the black outline you can just see it all the way around so now that means we can put this baby anywhere with no white box on our promotional piece okay so that's the easy bit to get rid of the white outline you can edit let's go here Let's go on. Right, so here's the outline that we've done. Now we can zoom in and we can edit these nodes so we can get rid of any of the white areas. Oops there we go so we can get rid of the white areas just to make it as more presentable as possible okay so there we have our outline we've got the baby all sorted and this is our finished finished item let's just drag that box there we go so that's our finished baby right 
Now that's great and that is all we need to do providing that the customer wants a white onesie okay chances are customers are awkward buggers and they want a nice I don't know whatever silly color so we have to do the same thing again uh, trace that But all we're interested in now is the onesie. We're not interested in the baby. We've done the baby. Baby sorted. And a lovely smile there. Right, all we're interested now in the, is the onesie. Because what we want to do is ultimately change the colour of that onesie to give our customers as many options as possible. Well, no, that can go to the extreme. Let's just give the customer a couple of options. And that way we still call the shots and not spending hours and days on a, a small job. Now if the customer wants a uh, hundred of these, then yeah, you, you know, you don't mind spending uh, a bit more time to provide different options, different colours. Right, so what we're going to do here is get rid of everything and we're, all we're interested in is just delete this lot now again I'm just doing it rough and quick because I've got one that's already done I've got one already done so I'm just going to do a bit here to show you how it all works. Uh, I'm not interested in that bit. Right, so let's... right. Now I'm deleting bits of the onesie I want, just disregard that. Because ultimately I'm just cutting a few corners so that I can keep the video in a respectable time frame uh, but still show you exactly what you need to know okay so there we have the onesie and here's one I did earlier okay are we all happy with that? So from our original trace, trace is, is quicker, takes a bit longer than using colour mask, but I find it find that you get a more detailed work um, in fact. Right, you'll notice something in a minute because what I've gone and done. Um, right so there we go so we've got a trace of our onesie and we're still going to use the baby as a model okay and now we can show the customer that onesie in any colour we want okay now you're all noticing straight away that it could be better because for starters we've got no shadows there no detail or anything okay so a way around that is to go to transparency this is using Corel I don't know what I've got this is using Corel uh, select uniform and you see now we've got the detail and we've changed that onesie entirely from the white that it was to again any color we want and we've still got the detail the shadows the contours okay there we go so now let's go to our baby
Let's line it up. We we'll use my mouse. Right, you'll see I've still got some white there so it doesn't lay on top perfect. So let's uh, let's change that. There we go. Delete a load of nodes from this trace. There we go. Super job. Super super job. Whoops. So we're just taking these nodes from our trace and we're just going to edit there we go that looks cool now obviously with more time you get it perfect now in my mind I don't spend don't mind spending time on these mock-ups because ultimately it, it's going to make us money so it's worth getting a job done nice There we go. Happy that. Okay, so there we have it. And that's basically all there is to it. Okay, so we've got our baby, we've got rid of the white background, the white ones uh, we've changed from white to any colour that the customer wants. Okay, let's line that up again. I'm just using my mouse here on my keyboard. To line it up again. There we go. Now all we need to do is with our artwork place that on top now the thing with these doing this artwork is we don't want to show the customer a big artwork like this if we can't do it. So let's make sure we scale it appropriately. And make sure it's angled right. There we go, and with a few more touches, we can get rid of some white from the round the baby there. That's just where the trace took a bit more. Uh, there we go. There we go. Any problems with that? Now, that's a baby. And so we've edited the colours to do. We can show the customer anything we like. Okay. And now that just means a click of a button, because the customer's going to mess us around, we know that. And they want to see different colours, so we can just click a button there and show them whatever they want. 
Now, the way we got these shadows is we use the transparency tool. So, what we can do now is copy and paste that. There we go. And we can get darker shades. Okay. So, again, we're not limited. Let's uh, put our artwork back on top. Arrange, order to the front. There we go. And just a click of a button. We can show the customer what they want. Uh, good evening Chris, Tanya and Joe. I can see you all there. Thank you very much for joining us. Right, now I have got, um, right, so that's a baby in a power. We can do that with t-shirts, we can do it with hoodies. Exactly the same way. Okay, now we can also do it with, uh, let's go to another one. There we go. Let's go to slate. Again, this is one that I've already done. There we go. Let's drag a photograph in. This is a photograph that I took of our slate. Okay. And what we did is exactly the same thing. Is trace it to get rid of the background. and then trace it oops trace it to get rid of the background and then trace it to get the mock up to get the outline of our printable area there we go that's better I had it up the wrong way there we go Right, so we get rid of the background. Okay. Right, so that's our photo. We've got rid of the background there. Yeah. And press it again just for the printable area we layer that on top and we can show the customer again how their slate is going to look and present them with options that we want to sell okay let's go to a another idea we, we did um, um, Again, taken from a photo, we got rid of the background. We got rid of the background. Oh. And then layered on top to get the right shadow. to get the shadow we want okay and now now that we've got the 
this printable area okay we've got the whole photo there and then we've got another trace of the printable area so now that we've got that we can then do another layer on top of our artwork now with sleeves can be a bit more a bit more involved because we want to get the curves right so it looks like it's it's actually printed on there yeah we don't want straight lines because his arm is obviously not straight so we do a bit of editing of the text Oops. a bit of editing to the text so it actually looks a bit more authentic there we go because ultimately we we don't want straight lines because that's not what the customer is going to get okay so we'll edit the artwork to make sure it fits you know like like it's a finished item obviously um, where was I? Like we did there, we slanted it slightly. Because if we just do it straight, straight, it just doesn't look right. That just looks like we're going to print on the onesie all crooked. But if we slant it, then it looks like it's printed correctly as for the baby wearing it. Yeah? Right, so any questions with that? I say it's an easy task to do, it doesn't take long to actually uh, to put something together like that. I say I've shown you the slate, the mock up, the onesie. Um. I'm just having a quick look through, there we go I'll find some artwork on that I've already got done And again, we create another layer on top of our artwork and what we're, it, we're, we're proposing to sell to the customer. So, to summarise then, all a mock-up is, is all different layers in the right order to manipulate an image, an item that we got from Google. Or like I showed you here, from our original photo. Okay? That's a photo that we took of our slates here. Oops, here in the store. Hence the grey, the grey box. Okay, so now we end up with still a grey box, but one that can be layered on top of any promotional flyer advertisement that we create. Okay which is what we did with the baby there okay and bear in mind we started off with a baby with a white box around it and then we've ended up with a baby with a black shirt the artwork all finished
Okay. Now, unless there's any. Oh, shoot. <sighs> My chair collapsed. Unless there's any questions, anything else that we need to cover uh, while you've got me. What I also uh, I saw while I was flicking through some artwork. Um, That's not doing it. Oh, that's because it's a power clip. I know why. Let's copy that. Sorry. Right. Yeah, because that's a power clip. But what I wanted to show you. Right. Let's convert that to a JPEG. Uh, transparency. Right. Right. So there we go. So now we can go to transparency. And that is a fantastic trick to learn, uh, especially with memorials. We'll uh, fade out the uh, the guy in question or the relative, and make it a bit more spiritual by altering the t transparency settings. And that's the same process that's used to get these heaven sky backgrounds, uh, put wings on him. We just fade them out slightly. Uh, order, bring that one to the front. There we go, you can do all sorts of funny things. In fact, let's group all that together. Uh, I'm just messing around now. Right, so let's send him. To the front. him to the front there we go gives us a few options a few ideas to present it to the customer and that looks pretty cool actually I like that there we go so we can show the customer a couple of options color options there on the same artwork Right, we've not had any questions or outcome in, so I think that's about it. That's all, that's all that's involved. Now like we did with the onesie there, you can take any image off Google, a mug. There we go, let's, let's very quickly do a mug. Um, Uh, uh, I've got some, there we go, mug. Right, this is going to be the last one. How long have we been online now? I don't know. Right, this is the last one. Right, so again, we've got a photograph of a mug. Um, in different, different views. and then we can place our artwork on top of that. One mistake that's commonly made oh, yeah. my chair's just collapsed again I got one of these telescopic chairs and it keeps lowering. Right, one mistake that's commonly made 
uh, especially we're doing mock-ups is leaving white parts in the mug uh, in your design because you're not going to print white you're going to get the background color which on this picture is like more of a shade of gray so we need to get rid of any white parts oops so it blends more in with the background yep so any white bits on a photograph or in the design we need to get rid of that um, let's think of a better way to show you there we go if we had artwork like that we can't present that to the customer because they're not going to get a white on top of a photograph like that we don't print white we know that so we need to get rid of the background so it blends in does that make more sense that makes more sense to me okay so that's a a mistake you see quite often in, especially in mock-ups well then the other thing is to curve it let's do this one and then we just use the envelope tool just to bend the text like it's actually on the oops like so it looks like it's actually printed on the mug there we go so it actually looks like it's printed on the mug that's pretty cool does that look cool? I think that looks cool right uh, anything else? I'm just waffling now anything else we want to know? Right, thanks very much for your watching and thanks very much indeed for your loyalty and your custom and I'll talk to you again shortly on something else uh, whatever it is you want to know thank you for watching thank you for coming to the laughing professor and I'll talk to see you soon thank you bye bye